This project is called Improvise IVS or Improve IVS uh, and IVS stands for International Voluntary Service and in this training uh, we provide uh, creative engaging skills for the participants uh, to use to define their challenges and find solutions through design thinking and improvisation uh, with specifically the aim to increase the quality of international voluntary service. Design thinking is a format to uh, process uh, analyzing challenges and to find solutions for your challenge that you formulated. It's more big picture thinking kind of approach to problem solving. So it teaches you a different kind of mindset when it comes to finding solutions. So essentially it has a process that you work through. It has different steps from diving into the problem, then you think of solutions and then you prototype and test the solution with your audience. And then you can either go back and, and refine your solution or you can move further with it. So there's, it's, it's a framework that leaves you a lot of space to come up with creative things um, but at the same time it gives you like a thread of, of steps that you do but it doesn't give you the concrete tools you have to use so within that you can use improvisation you can use different kinds of brainstorming and then the output you have is usually something that you test with your audience and then you can keep repeating the process. I think this there is really strong connection between design thinking uh, and improvisation. For example, uh, you can learn how to express your emotions, how to adapt yourself to the different situations, uh, and also uh, you can learn how to work really deep uh, with, with the group. Okay, I think that they are kind of the same thing, just because they, are, they have the yes and approach, which is the main thing of the improvisation, improvisation mindset. In fact, during your real life, you have just to say yes and the next it comes. You have just to improvise, imagine something and the things will go in the right way. The imagination is the, the center of the project and, and everything. In, in the first stage, you're going to think about ideas and then nothing is wrong or right, just uh, when it comes spontaneously into your mind, you can say it. Also, uh, both of the methodologies uh, contain uh, creativity and imagination, which means that you have to uh, think out of the box and sort of imagine the possible solutions in your problems because you're gonna use design thinking and improvisation in the rest of your life, in your daily, day, uh, everyday life. Imagine. Multi-talented. People. Respect. Opportunity. Values. International. Solutions. Engagement. Improvise! My first take would be that there is uh, no connection at all uh, because uh, I'm used uh, to think as design as something connected to projects uh, so structure and over structure and again structure until you get uh, a functional prototype while improvisation is just uh, freestyling something mm, but ultimately I think that uh, my use of improvisation is uh, when my plan fails, then improvisation is the backup. This is the teamwork that I can find between the two. When you use design thinking and improvisation, you can understand better the needs and the emotions and the uh, beliefs of other people because you work as a team, you work as a group, so you can walk in their shoes. Concerning the do's, I would say that you have to keep an open mind. Uh, you have to respect others, uh, you have to be empathetic and uh, practice empathetic listening, active listening. And one of my favorite uh, proverbs in this is uh, done is better than perfect. So I will definitely encourage people with uh, dreams, projects or something to do in general to start it. Because uh, if you start to overthink of every possible scenario, scenarios are unlimited. So factually, we don't start. I believe that the don't of improvisation is that you must not judge, 
and criticize others' opinion, whether you think they are less making sense or not. And also you must not uh, interrupt others when they are talking and you must not give others disrespect because either of their background or because of their opinion. Well, definitely an eye-opener for me was uh, that you don't necessarily have to be that charismatic person with uh, super confidence uh, to improvise or to practice design thinking. This is a very multicultural group from both uh, the north and the center and uh, the south of Europe. And uh, my interpretation is that uh, some uh, people are by personality or by culture, by folklore, more an improviser or more a strategist. And uh, my biggest lesson here is that uh, whenever I want to fund a startup or having a group or having in general uh, something to do collectively, I want to have both. I want to have uh, the genius who have the genial idea and I want the architect to make it uh, work. Also, uh, an eye-opener was uh that you uh, you have to be uh, you, you have to be open to failure and you don't have to be anxious about making mistakes about failing because let's be honest you will fail you will make mistakes <laughs> and i mean it in a good way improvisation can really be valuable for ivs improvisation gives you a platform to be uh, mental flexible and to be thinking outside the box and to be acceptable and to understand without judgmental and without criticism. I would hope that IVS gets more and more popular because I think it's a great opportunity for youth. I mean, I did a volunteering project myself and I do think it was a great added value for me, both personally and professionally. So I would hope that it keeps growing so that more and more people get to experience it because then it can really bring a lot of like a lot more understanding on a human level. It also gives different skills that could be very helpful later on in a professional life or even organizing projects. I mean, so some people participate as volunteers and then the year after they become camp leaders. So like you can really get a very wide set of skills and then you meet people, people from all over the place. So I really, really hope that it will just grow more and more people will sign up and participate. I am really happy that Erasmus Plus provides the opportunity for our participants to come together and to uh, gain really meaningful skills and tools, uh, but also have an intercultural learning opportunity with like-minded uh, people, but also discuss about different opinions they have about uh, subjects, about everything, about life. Um, so it's really good that uh, in the European Union they have this uh, funding opportunity and that we can create this space for them to interact and to create friendships. It was a, such a beautiful experience just because I really love knowing new people, new, new people from other nationalities and, uh, and learn new cultures, new way of living. So for me it's like growing. And I think everyone should do this kind of experience, yes. I've learned a lot about the improvisation, about the process of design thinking. Uh, I met so great people here. Trainers are really great. And it was so nice intercultural experience for me. I, it really helped me like unlock my inner talented person, as Rob says. Um, it, it helped me to speak in front of people, to share my fears, because I, I told them I'm afraid of making mistakes. I'm afraid of failure. But everybody hugged me in a really nice way and they spoke kind words to me. And now I think that I'm talking to you in front of the camera and I don't have any problem. I'm improvising. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my experience so far the past few days, it's extremely amazing. I'm given the opportunity to have the world in the palm of my hand. I mean, I'm here with so many nationalities. It feels amazing. It feels so like a dream come true. And uh, I'm so happy and excited to live a dream. And uh, yes, this is Dab to the World. And thank you so much IVS for these great opportunities. And I'm looking out to more greater opportunities like this to impact others' lives and also to make my dream come true. Thank you.